For some students, college is just one aspect of a busy life. Many balance classes with work and family responsibilities. Earlier this spring, I met Lakia McCoy, a single mom who's hoping to be the first in her family to graduate from college. And with the help of a program called Sister to Sister, she's getting closer to that goal every day. Being a young mom, I really want to show that nothing is impossible. If you want to do something, you know, go for it, you know, don't let nobody stop you. I grew up in Montgomery County. I graduated from Kennedy High School. I also went to Thomas Edison High School of Technology for the cosmetology program. If it weren't for Montgomery College, I think it would have been really hard for me to get in school, especially big universities and things like that. For me, as a mother with a low income, it's easier to get into a community college, especially with um, the grants and things like that. I have a um, mentor here, her name is Miss Gail Wright. Gail pointed Lakia to Sister to Sister, a program that brings together female African American students in their first semester at MC and provides much needed mentoring. Sister to Sister is just like a support group if we need help with you know, our academics and also we go out to the community and help out the community. One community thing we did, um, we went to the homeless shelter and helped feed the homeless shelter and clean the kitchen, and that was a really good experience for me. It was my first time, so I really like it. It's something that um, I think everyone should have just, um, just for support, especially first time here at MC. Helping others is right up Lakia's alley. She dreams of becoming a physical and occupational therapist with a very special skill. When I finish Montgomery College, I'm going to receive my American Sign Language Certificate. My parents are hearing impaired, so hopefully I can use that as, you know, a backup, being an interpreter um, later in the future. And also with physical therapy and occupational therapy, especially with deaf patients, you know, you don't have to go out and go find an interpreter, you know, it would just be easier if the person knew sign language, so I think I would be interested in that. My mom went to college, but she didn't really finish, so hopefully I'll be the first to finish college. Lakia is a strong young lady. She has three younger sisters who she helped care for as she went to high school. Now, as a mother, she hopes to set an example for her sisters, her son, and the child she's expecting this summer.